Okay, here I'm going to show you how to export a Sibelius file as an audio file. The process is the same on a Mac or on Windows. The only difference is on Windows it exports a WAV file and on Mac I think it's a, a .aiff audio file. First of all, open up the Sibelius file, then go to File, Export, make sure that's Export, not Save, and go to Audio. If the playback line, that's this green line here, is not at the beginning of the piece, it'll, it'll ask you if you want to move it to the start. If you want to record the whole song, then you would click Yes here. But if you only want to click, if you only want to record starting at a certain point, then say no, and make sure that the line is dragged to the point that you want to start. So in this case, I want to record the third movement of my symphony, so the line is at the very end of, of the second movement. As far as I know, there's no way to stop it recording before the end, so it'll record all the way to the end, and then you'll have to crop it out using a program like Audacity or GarageBand. So then, in this case, I'm going to click No. If you want to record the whole thing, click Yes. Then it asks you where you want to save it, select a location, and then type the name in here. As you can see on Windows, it's a WAV file. So I'm just going to save it to my desktop, and I'm going to call it that, and click OK. Then it does this. It's a pretty quick process. I mean, this is, this is fairly long but it does it pretty quickly. And you can see it tells you at what you can, it tells you what point in the piece it's at. And when it's done, um, it's a bit annoying, it doesn't actually show you anything. It's just done. So then I'll go and you can see here it is on my desktop and it'll play. Now as I said, it's actually, this is the end of my third movement here, but it's recorded this as well, so if I wanted to do anything with that, I would open it up in Audacity. I'd go File, Open, And then it's just a simple process of deleting the unnecessary stuff. And then Audacity can save as a WAV file. I imagine um, you can also Audacity can also save as MP3. I imagine GarageBand can do the same thing, save it as either an AIFF or an MP3 file. And that way you can get the get the file from exporting from Sibelius into an MP3 file.